Hey guys, and welcome back to Jungle Strike. Let's continue. This pilot has the devil's own luck. Thanks to him, what is left of your private army could fit in a phone booth. <laughs> I like that. Entire regiments have been unable to defeat my forces. Now one pilot crushes them? This can't be happening. Your last line of defense just melted before before him like ice scattered in the desert. Now he comes for us. We must take refuge in the secure shelters we have prepared. At least they thought ahead. I agree. I will retreat to my villa. My guards will keep me safe there. Pah! Your famous guards have protected nothing so far. I shall go to the reinforced bunker in the mountains. I doubt even this cursed pilot has enough firepower to blast open that iron oasis. Well, well, well. Ready to do some mountain climbing, Captain? The drug lord and madman have fled to their hideouts. The Soviet commander you've captured gave us their location. But first you'll have to knock out the control towers at the entrance to the hideouts. We're still scanning the area for clues to your remaining missions. We'll send status info as we get to it. But whatever happens, the drug lord and madman must be captured live. Good luck. Yes. We're going to save state there. Just in case. Yes. Um, well, this mission is quite challenging for one reason these mobile cannons there's not many of them but they have 400 points of armor yes right 400 that's not a typo 400 points of armor so that's four hellfires to sink one of these they also have two they also deal i should say 200 points of damage so five shots from one of these and you're wasted not very speedy and rate of fire is slow but they do near critical damage when they hit and they're armored like bank vaults yeah um they make everything else look like a toy so mission one control tower control tower alerts bunker artillery knock out the control tower this will drop the artillery zone around the bunker and decrease the enemy's ability to track you Okay, that's cool. Now, first thing we actually want to do is start opening up some crates because it really doesn't tell you whether there's like any fuel or much ammo or armor in this mission. It's, it, yes, it's one of them. Um, and that's where a lot of the difficulty comes from. However, quick winch, we'll have it. However, it's not too bad because, ah, bollocks, like most levels, there is actually a lot of supplies hidden away. With the exception of fuel, there really isn't a lot of fuel on this mission. And that's really going to kind of come and haunt us. Every time I've played this mission, I've always basically come down to my last barrel of fuel. Uh, which is kind of terrorizing, to be honest. But hey, that's the way this game goes. Right, we're going to attack this place from the bottom anyway. We've got our quick winch, which is nice. You can see how many um, supply crates, so to speak, there actually are. Now, most of the supply... Oh, shit, we're getting hit by a tank. Most of the supply crates in... The, oh, God. Oh, my God. Contain armor and ammo, which, you know, is nice. We like armor. We like ammo. But fuel is so critically important. Look how many look how many of these there are. Are you counting? Are you counting? Have you got your, your, your fingers and your toes out? There is so many of these things. Right, well, that's gonna do it for them. Now ammo is a non issue. There is so much of it. It's crazy. It's literally everywhere. But uh, everything else <laughs> is in very short supply. Now you do get the quick winch, obviously, which is curious. Because, I mean, it, it's just not that useful um, in this game compared to the uh, 
uh, original, you know, Desert Strike, the Quick Winch, was pretty much always useful. It always had a use. Not really in this one. I'm not sure why he's got so many towers around here either. Ooh, low armor. <laughs> low armor. We have 50 units of armor. 50 units of armor. That was close, guys. That was close. Oh, God. Bingo weapons. That's fine. There's another tank up there. Don't think we're going to need to fiddle with him. That sounded... Ro oh, God. Okay. Oof. Yeah, you can already see how many, like, ammo crates we've opened up. Okay, we might... Hmm... Yep, kind of want to go up here because there is uh, a lot of armor repairs. At least one armor repairs. Will you piss off, like honestly? There's some armor repairs up here and we kind of... No, there isn't. We used it, actually. So there again. There I go again, telling you guys lies. I don't know why you watch me, honestly. Okay, I think that's all the tanks, which is cool. We don't really have to play with them again, but they they hurt so much. Fuel is on 18, which, well, that's not good. Let's try and aim for a fuel tank that's fairly far away. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to, though. Let's just go for the closest one for now. Right, so next point of attack is a little bit on the savage side we have to go and get the tomahawks but wait do you notice something do you notice the fact that it's not telling us where the tomahawks are that's a theme that's going to be pretty much a theme tomahawk cruise missile sites hidden by rocks the drug lord has stolen a shipment of tomahawk missiles and is planning to launch them without warning. Hunt them down before he strikes. Yeah, he's hiding them in the mountains, which is fine. And if you thought to yourselves, gee, I wonder if he's guarding them with those mobile cannons, you'd be right. <sighs> because of course he is. This guy is a savage. Yeah, you can see how slow these things are, but don't oh god let that fool you <laughs> do not let that fool you slow yes deadly absolutely these things hit like a train okay now all these rocks have hellfire uh, tomahawks in you, they're also really hard to hit you cannot hit them with the chain gun. Believe me, I have tried, and I have tried, and I have tried. And then I tried some more. You cannot hit them with a the chain gun. Um, maybe better men than I can, but I absolutely cannot. Oh, no. See, they do so much damage. Oh, he actually crashed into my corpse. I can't believe I died on this mission. They do so much damage that um, your helicopter doesn't even register the low armor warning. Oh, no. Really didn't want that to happen. Yep. So much damage that you don't even register that you're low on armor. Do you think that's, that's like, savage enough? Look how many there is. Look how many there is. Look. And you kind of really, it really is beneficial to take these things out. It really is. Now that one actually dropped ammo, which was quite nice. Uh, so there's only two mobile guns left. Thank fuck. There really, there really isn't many of them, which is good. Because remember when I said, um, oh, there's another one. Remember when I said that the, Ah, uh, tanks were unfair. Yeah, yeah. I think these things are slightly more unfair, just slightly. Right. So, uh, let's go scoop up. Damn it! Scoop up some armor. 
We're going to go uncover. What's that ammo like? Ammo sucks. Let's go grab some more. Plenty of ammo at least. You, you, you're not really going to run out of it, to be honest with you. We're going to head down here anyway because there's some more pyramids. This one's guarded by a man with a gun for reasons. But in here there is fuel and that is good. We like fuel. And we're also going to break the sequence that you're actually meant to complete this mission because uh, are we? Yeah, we might as well because we're kind of running out of fuel and that's bad but what we can do come on let's do this mission because we don't want to get too far away and waste fuel so we're going to do this mission now and then by the time we get low on fuel, we can go scoop the other go juice up. Ooh, 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 ooh. Low armor. You bet your ass we're low on armor. Oof, so we're low on fuel and we're low on armor. Do you see those things? That was actually appalling flying on my part. To be fair, like that was really bad. So let's go scoop up this fuel. And let's go grab some more armor because we're down to 100 points. There is another life on this mission which we will get. Uh, oh god. We will get it, but not yet. We'll get it when we're close to it. Because that makes sense. Right, give me that. Uh, armor. And uh, talking of armor repairs as well, don't worry. It says there's two left on the map, but <laughs> there's there's a lot of them which is cool um, to be honest if you're like a little bit more switched on than I am I have been at work for 11 hours and I might have just downed uh, a couple of pints ruby ale as well because it's so hot my god it's so hot yeah there's a there's a lot more armor tucked away so oof. so don't worry there's actually an awful lot of uh, equipment around here. There's also fuel in there because, of course, there is. There's always fuel in those. So, power supply. This mission. Oh, right. Power supply to the drug lord's villa. Destroy the power supply that protects the drug lord's villa. When the power source is on, uh, the hideout is indestructible. Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah. So. The indestructible enemy hideout. Mm -hmm. That's bad. Uh, you know. So what we've got to do is take that thing out. Trouble is, that thing's an alert zone. Because, I'm sure, why not? You know. Um, you're, you're at the end of the game, pretty much. So the game is going to throw everything and the kitchen sink at you. So what we're going to do, we're going to pick one angle of attack come in waste one of these <sighs> take an absolute kick in whilst we do it try and get range on this stuff I actually got range on you which is nice oh come on there we go he's gone see that helicopter Helicopter will always attack when you start attacking. That Apache, they just they just got to kick you in the dick as hard as they can. But there we go. Once we destroy that, the alert zone should drop. I say should. Should drop. Um, uh, yeah, it has. That's cool. So let's take these guys out and then grab up this armor. <laughs> that was hard. Uh, now, believe it or not, like the hardest part of the mission is kind of over now. So we can relax a little bit. Well, I say relax. What did Desert Strike teach us? Don't take chances. Now, let's take these out. You know, it's interesting going back to these um, tanks. They're really not as dangerous as you... Oh, God, you think they are originally. Right. And I wish I could target. There we go. I was going to say, I wish I could actually target the enemies. <laughs> but you can't. Oh, God. Right. But we are going to stand there. There we go. 
And we're going to let them destroy this heavily fortified place for us. Because man, this place sucks. What armor do we want? 130. And we're really low on equipment and supplies as well. Oh, God. Whew. That was sketchy. Now, fuel. Yep. You guessed it. We really don't have a lot of fuel left on the map at all, do we? Uh, this is pretty brutal. Luckily, there is some down here. Now, most of the big uh, heavy-hitting weapons and equipment have now been destroyed. Which is good. So, let's go fill up on go juice. And next mission. The Drug Lord. Carlos Ortega, notorious drug lord, once you've wasted his Shangri-La, I never knew what that meant when I was a kid, <laughs> Shangri-La, capture the drug lord so he can be brought to justice, watch for any escape attempts, it is crucial that you take him alive, yes, now the game isn't going to tell you where he is, because the game is, you know, a bit of a dick like that, oh, nice, fuel, don't know if I found that one before, and some armour, Two very nice little finds there. Beautiful. Right. So let's head up here. If we go to the river, we might run into some, I don't know, some trouble. Let's keep going, shall we? Ooh, hello. No running, kids. Come on. You really think you're going to get away from Strike Core? You've been a very naughty boy. Ooh, needed to take that out. Oh, God, look at them. Just coming out of the woodwork like that. Really? And those those guys with rocket launchers are actually called aphids because they have aphid missiles. Right, let's go scoop you up. Get inside, you little bitch. Not bad. So that's Carlos all locked away. Nice and safe. Inside the Apache. I mean, I guess he's sitting on our lap. It, it's not very clear, to be honest. Um, right, so, now we have Zabunga. No, we should be doing the airstrip now. Jungle airstrip with escape vehicles. The Madman's jungle airstrip has planes and choppers ready for takeoff. Uh, knock out these vehicles to cut off his escape. Yeah, so we've done that now. Madman still reinforced bunker armor strength unknown. Once you've breached the outer shield, blast open the underground shelter. Yeah, now... <sighs> It, again, it doesn't really tell you where the bunker is, but uh, it, it's kind of obvious in a way. Just search the big open clearings that you haven't been in, and all shall be revealed. Or just, you know, watch where I go. The choice is yours. But the bunker's not too bad. It is defended, but its defences are actually fairly light, considering what we've um, already fought. Right, let's kill you. And open this up for a nice little surprise. And there we go. We've replaced the life that we've lost. Can we keep it this time? Now, here's the bunker. It is protected by these Gatling guns. These Gatling guns uh, aren't much. And as you can see, they don't all spawn at once. Which is kind of interesting. You have to destroy them in sequence. And uh, one appears after the other, which, yeah, I mean, sure, it is a little bit weird, but okay. You only take two missiles to sink each. Then, ladies and gentlemen, then we have to crack this egg. And this is some egg to crack, I'll be honest. This is a, this is a tanky stru structure, but that's fine. We've got lots of bullets, we've got fuel, we've got armor, we've got everything we need to survive when the game, you know. Come on. Actually animates this thing blowing up. I don't know how much armor this has got. I would guess a lot. So now we've hit that. Let's go to bunker. The bunker is intact. I beg to differ. Oh, but wait. There's more. What we need to do now is grab some fuel. Grab some ammo. And... We need to uh, let Wild Bill do some uh, do some business. We're gonna let him take care of business. Let's give him uh, a chance to show that he can do a little bit more than uh, aim the guns. Good work, Wild Bill. 
Good work. I'm guessing this thing was full of explosive stuff. Ooh, there's a madman in his own private Apache. Not sure why he had uh, all that other stuff, all those other air vehicles ready to go when he's just like got his Apache ready. I also like the way he signals to us, like hand signals. I'm going to imagine he's flipping us off. And there we go. That's that's like one of the harder missions in this game, I think. I'm a little bit salty again that I lost a life, but uh that's that's the way it goes um <laughs> funny enough i've test run this mission twice um and well no that's not true i test run this mission three times first time um i actually forgotten about how powerful those guns are uh the mobile cannons and i got wrecked uh, absolutely wrecked so i kind of got annoyed um and gave it a rest and then I went back and recorded it, uh, two test runs of this, uh, yesterday. And I've breezed through it. And today, of course, because I'm recording, I actually die like a noob. But never mind. And there we go. Drug Lord Villa destroyed. And I'm going to drop that save state. Boop. Because fuck writing those passwords down. So guys, with that, we have completed the game, haven't we? No. <laughs> oh no. There's more. There's one more mission left. And it's... <laughs> it's actually fairly easy, but it, it, it has some bullshit attached. Let's just say, say that. But we'll, we'll get into that in the next part. But thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, till next time.